Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to try Dewclaw Sour Me America Rock Pop Sour Ale. Uh, ale brewed with tart cherry, raspberry, and lime. Um, I do like a rocket pop every now and then. 5.5% ABV. Not sure how much this was, but I did pick it up at Megabep. So let's go ahead and get it in a glass and see what I think about it. What color do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be like a purplish blue? Nope. More cherry color. I guess I shouldn't have said blue because that would have been blue raspberry and that's not what's on the can. Um, head's going away quickly. Uh, what did I say? Ale. Sour ale. Okay. Yeah. Head's going away. Color. I want to say like a peach color. You guys are seeing it more red, darker than what I am. Like a burnt orange color in there. Kind of weird, but I guess um, the red and the raspberry and the cherry would take over. So, yeah, seems okay. Let's go ahead and smell. Like a sweeter raspberry sticks out the most, but it's not that tart raspberry. It's like a old school rock hard dark red candy that sticks out. There's a touch of sourness. I want to almost say I'm getting malt. Maybe a little lime in there. Yeah. Huh. I would have thought that cherry would stick out more. I mean, I would rather have raspberry than cherry in a sour, uh, but that's just me. But it smells okay. Let's go ahead and taste. Berry raspberry, like a tart dry raspberry in there. there I'm getting malt in the back. Like a malt cherry in the back. Raspberry up front, cherry in back. Maybe a little acidic. Maybe that tartness is coming from that lime also. I'm not going to say it tastes like a bomb pop. 100%. Yeah, cherry, like a malty cherry. I, I would almost say like a wheat cherry in back, but there's some tartness in there. That raspberry, that sweeter raspberries up front. It's not overly sweet, but it is there. I, I think that tart cherry maybe in back uh, helps with that. Maybe the lime does too. Uh, kind of dry, but like the aftertaste is, yeah, a malty, weedy cherry. It's not bad. Huh. It'll be interesting to see fruit flavors. Yeah. I don't think they would put wheat. I wonder what that really is. Yeah, I'm going multi wheat as I've said 10 times. That multi wheat cherry in the back of the palate to the aftertaste. Um, but there is, even in my mouth now, like that tart raspberry in there. It's kind of weird, like the, it, up front when you keep drinking, it's like that sweetness goes through and I almost want to say, wakes up your taste buds or something like that. Um, I, I would go 3.75 out of 5 on this one. Um, 
Would I buy it again? No. Would I drink it again? Yes. Um, it just, that bomb pop. Uh, I have two kids. We have bomb pops every now and then. And that's, n that's not what a bomb pop tastes like, uh, in my opinion. But let's go ahead and check on Zap, see what they're saying. Uh, four of my friends have checked it in, 3.98. Almost 10,000 people, 3.78. So I guess I'm kind of low. Uh, Joe gave it a four. Firecracker vibe. Is it old? Candle in 4.18.23, so no. Um, I'll have to check out his review. You guys should also, um, let's see, tart cherry fruit lime sweet. Let's see if anybody else, a tasty sour 3.8 and one more person gave it a 410. But yeah, if you're into beers like this, definitely want to pick up and try. If you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and ring that bell. And until next time, cheers.